Hi, I'm Natalie Jill, fat loss expert turned lifestyle and high performance coach. Welcome to Listen Up, the podcast. On this podcast, I do what I do best, taking complicated information that is relevant to us now and breaking it down simply with actionable steps you can implement to level up your life. I also regularly interview some of the most inspiring and courageous men and women on the planet who at their worst learned how to achieve success greater than anything they ever dreamed possible, creating everything from nothing. If you are new here, I encourage you to go back and listen from episode one when this podcast was previously called Leveling Up for the Full Transformative Experience. Hello, everyone. Happy Monday. So as you may or may not know, my main business has always been fat loss. And I love fat loss. I love teaching people fat loss because if you've seen my acronym on my social media, I always say I kill fat for a living. And that's not just the fat on our bodies, although I absolutely can help with that. But I kill what I call false assumed truths. And it's the beliefs that hold people back from making major changes in their lives. And one of the things that we have successfully busted through in my fat loss programs with people is exactly that teaching people how to kill their own false assumed truth. So I'm bringing this up right now because my Total Body Thrive program, which I launch only twice a year, typically winter and summer, is about to start in June and we're taking registration. The reason for this share I'm going to open up today uh, is my friend Kat was interviewing me recently about how I got into fat loss how I developed a method for fat loss for people and what that method actually is, like how we lead people through that process of losing weight. The interview got a tremendous response and she was gracious enough to let me put it here for you all to hear. I think you'll get a lot out of it. So without further ado, here is the interview uh, that Kat just recently did of me and I hope you enjoy it. And then if you do enjoy it and you want more, make sure you stay tuned until the very end because I'm going to share exactly how you can actually be part of Total Body Thrive Live. I want to start kind of in a not very typical place. (laughs) So I know you have like amazing things you do with people, but I really, when I really connected with you was when I asked you why, you know, you've really dedicated yourself to taking people from where they are to where they want to be. Yeah. And I would really love it if you would share, why do you do that? Because it it takes a lot of energy, right? Yeah. Sometimes I question why, (laughs) to be real. (laughs) Um, But quite honestly, I think even if I really look back, even as a little girl, I liked helping people. I liked making people happy. I wanted them to be happy. And, and I knew that it was more than external something, making somebody laugh to make them happy. I wanted people to be confident and feel good about themselves. So it really dates back to being a little girl. And quite honestly, I was happy as a little girl. I was a fortunate one that was happy. And I was, I had what you would call a pretty good life um, up until my mid thirties. And let me explain, Um, you know, I did all the things on the checklist. I grew up, uh, I went to college, got a job in corporate America. I did all the checklist things. In fact, I got married. I was having a baby. I lived in the perfect neighborhood with the white picket fence and the dogs and all the things. And I remember thinking, gosh, people that have hardship, what's that like? Like, how does that even happen? I was almost self-righteous about it all. I didn't understand. And it's interesting how when we seek a question like that, things are going to then happen. (laughs) I was going to say, careful what you ask. Yes. Yeah. And my life was about to change to the worst time of my life. And I'll, and I'll explain that in a minute. And on the other side of that is where all of this came. And, and let me explain that. So here I was uh, in my mid thirties, um, thinking I had this perfect life (laughs) and all of a sudden the world was changing. Uh, this was back in 2007, 2008 when the stock market and the housing market and everything was crashing. It was the first time in my adult life that I was really seeing this massive financial setback happening. And that was normal. A lot of people were going through it, but I also had been, was pregnant. I had gained 60 pounds at the time, which is 60 pounds more than I am now. I'm only five foot two. It was a lot. I was going through a divorce, um, which was very scary for me as while I was pregnant. Um, my only, I had just moved to California from DC, uh, from Washington, DC. So my husband was really my, my only close friend. So I was losing my, my close friend. I was scared and I knew I was gonna have to take a voluntary job demotion because I was going to be a new single mom. And I 
for the first time in my life felt this overwhelm of I'm going through a divorce. I'm overweight. I'm a new single mom. I have to change my job. And now the housing market is crashing and I'm going through a divorce. And why I bring that up is I was that good girl that put the right amount of money down in my house. I did all the right things. And next thing you know, I'm backwards on my house. Um, and I, I don't know what to do. I'm financially stressed. And I had this, this financial turning point where I went to go fill my gas tank up with a credit card and it was declined for the first time in my life. And I bring this up right now because I felt like I had this trifecta of everything going wrong with me, my body, my finances, my marriage falling apart, the hormones from being a new mom, changing a job. All the things were like hitting me at one time. All the major stressors. All the major stressors, all the major stressors. And I remember um, calling the credit card American Express for my car and saying, why did you shut down my, reject my card? I went to put it in the gas. Why did you reject it? And I'll never forget on the other side of the phone, they said, well, Natalie, you're $1.4 million in debt. And I, I just, I didn't even know how to respond to that. I'm like, how, how, what do you mean I'm $1.4 million in debt? Well, apparently because the housing market had crashed and I had borrowed against it and all these things, and I had to make some tough decisions and I'd stop paying my mortgage to get it together. Obviously can't do that. Hit my credit report. My life literally felt like it was falling apart. I couldn't even breathe. That spiraled me into a massive depression, which the only thing that was going to soothe that was McDonald's at the time. So I thought, so the weight kept piling on. I felt miserable. I had nobody to talk to about it. I was embarrassed. I felt like I had a fake life. I felt like people knew me one way. How would I even tell people what I'm struggling with? And it was the first time in my life that I felt completely just nothing, like just so depressed that I couldn't even describe how I felt. I, I felt overweight. I was scared. I was broke. I, I didn't know what to do. The, literally the only thing I was living for at the time was my daughter. So the reason I love that and the reason I think it's so important is we a lot of times think you are, look, look at the magazine covers behind you. There's no way you can understand me, right? Yeah. We think that like, if I was like you, if I had your life, then I could be like you. And we let that be our excuse to stop us, right? Yeah. And so that's so powerful for me because I now I know you can relate. Yes. You, know, you can relate to me wherever I am. Yes. And I and I feel I feel things still happen in my life to help me relate more with women. And so what I want to share with anyone listening right now, because no matter what you, whoever you're whatever you're struggling with right now, whether it's your weight or something in your life that your finances, your marriage, or whatever, whatever it is. Or I, or your weight, your finances, yeah, <laughs> like all of it. All of it. Um first of all, you're not alone. Uh, I get you. And that is a very real and scary place to be. And I understand that. Um, but I'm going to, about to tell you a story of what shifted me out of it. And it's going to lead me really into why fat loss and why I continue to help so many women with it. But what, what led me out of that was I was rock bottom depressed for a good four months. I mean, I I just remember that type of depression where you don't even want to get out of bed in the morning. Yeah. And, um, it was very scary for me. And to, quite honestly, I bet I would have gone down the road of being suicidal had I not had a daughter. I was, I was, I literally felt like I had nothing to live with for, except I had a daughter and I wanted to be there for her. Um, but I, I started with these little, like, I would just go for a walk every day. And I remember putting her in the stroller and I had my two dogs and I would go for a walk and it took everything in me for go to go for this walk. But I was walking one day and I saw those, uh, a window with that mirror reflection back where you can see, you see yourself in the mirror. Um, and I looked and I just didn't recognize what I was looking at. And I had this moment with myself in that reflection of, huh, I know there's something more in there. I know that's not all that I'm meant to be. I know that this, there's something hiding under all of this that I'm meant for more. And I had this, this just a thought about it. It was a glimmer of a hope. Hmm. So I went home. And I put my daughter down for a nap. And this was about, remember when the secret was a thing Uh um, Yeah, I remember watching about learning about the secret from Oprah. And then I watched the secret. So I decided in that moment, I was going to make a vision board and I grabbed all these magazines and I started tearing out uh, pictures of fit women, happy women, confidence, um, happy families, just anything that made me feel a little better. And I laid them all on this vision board. And I felt for the first time in a long time, just a glimmer of a smile and happiness of like, okay, is that a possibility? Is that a possibility? And I made a decision right there and then that I was going to become the girl that was on that board. 
And it literally started with a decision. So I'm going to ask you, and you feel me and you're in a rock bottom anywhere, whether it's your weight or anything or a combination, the step one is a decision. And I want you to write, I decide, just start with that. I decide that I'm changing. I decide. And I want you to literally write it because there's something that happens with declaring it and saying it and putting it out there. But it started with a decision. And that's what I want you to do right now. Just I decide. It's that first step. And after I decided and made that step, my only commitment from then on, my only thing that I said, I'm going to do this every day and let the rest unpack itself, was I was going to stare at that vision board And I was going to ask myself the question, if I was the girl living in that board, what would I be doing? Wow. Well, okay. So you don't realize you, you have no idea how powerful it is. What you, what you did probably not even knowing that's the key question. Wow. That's impressive. I I didn't know. I knew from being in corporate America and being in sales and being in all that The way I helped people with goals was they had to break down and decide what they wanted. So I knew that part and I used to get people in their vision. So I, that's sort of where that came from. The secret helped fine tune that. But those of you that think like a vision board is, is hokey or whatever, it is hokey if you just make it and sit it there. Yeah. But if you're going to make it and ask yourself the question, if I was the person living there, what would I be doing? That's different Mm -hmm. because Kat, our body, our selves do not know the difference between a thought and actually something that's happening. Mm -hmm. They just, it just doesn't. So if you can get yourself thinking in the right direction, things will start to follow. You will start creating that difference in yourself, but you have to start with the thought of hope, you know, especially in weight loss. I mean, fat loss is my specialty. Mm -hmm. So many women, they don't even see a possibility for them looking better or feeling better. They say things to me like, Natalie, nothing works for me. It's just too late for me. Oh my gosh. I hear that all the time. I'm too old. I've tried everything. I'm too late. It's my hormones. It's this, it's that. All those things might be real, but you're so focused on that. You're not even living in the possibility of something different. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. So I want to get back to you. You said, if I were the woman in these pictures on this board, what would I be doing? What would I be doing? I started with that question and I would stare at that board and I'd say, okay, the girl on the board has abs and I do not. <laughs> like, um, and my mind would start going to that. And I'd say, if I was the girl living on that board though, with abs, would I be eating McDonald's? Probably not. What would I be eating? Would I be drinking water? Okay. So I would start slowly taking these little actions. Like just take that one example. What would she be doing? Well, she's probably eating healthier. What is healthy eating? I started Googling, you know, what is healthy eating information overload? Boom. I'm like, okay, now I'm confused. So much information overload. So I went deeper. I'm like, well, how do I unpack this and make it easier for me? So I I became a researcher with this. In fact, so much so I actually became a licensed master sports nutritionist, but I I dove in. I wanted to understand and I started simplifying for myself. And I started with this rule and I'm going to share this rule with everyone listening, especially if you're looking for weight loss, is I started this, I would rather focus on adding in more of the good versus uh, not having things. So I I said, if I add in more of the good, I'm less likely to be hungry for McDonald's Mm -hmm. versus like, you're never having McDonald's again. (laughs) It was, it was just a a way to play with myself. Like, it's just, I'd rather, you know, focus on what can I add in? So the girl on the board, I knew she was adding in healthy foods. So I started researching and simplifying it. What can I add in? I can add in more vegetables. I can add in more water. (laughs) And I did that around the whole board. I had a picture I'll never forget of an oceanfront property. Well, I was living broke right now. I didn't, wasn't anywhere near having an oceanfront property, but I'd ask myself if that was my house and I was a girl living in the board, why would the oceanfront property matter to me? And I thought, well, I would walk on the beach every day. So I said, okay, so let's go walk on the beach. So I drove to the beach and I would just walk on the beach because it's the Uh, same thing. So here's what's really, really impacting me right now and you probably have heard this before, but this is huge, is what most people do is they make the vision board and they look at the oceanfront beach and here's what happens. I will never have that. Mm, It's exactly what happens. And what you did by saying, if I had that property, why would that be important to me? 
is you bypassed your brain saying yes. you don't have it. You made your brain come up with the answers that involved it. Yes. That's brilliant. So the reason I have so much success with hundreds of thousands of women now, Kat, I'm in, about to open up my Total Body Thrive again, and the women have massive success there. The reason they have success, believe it or not, is what we do in that program is we kill the fat. Now, the fat is not what you think. The okay. fat, so most people think- You said yeah. kill the fat. I'm yeah. Tell me what that means. Okay. So kill the fat is we're going to think fat on our bodies, which of course, that's going to be a natural uh, result of this. Okay. We do kill that, but we kill a different type of fat first. It's called false assumed truths. So the Mm -hmm. false assumed truths are all those beliefs that are in the way and holding us back. You know, on average, we have 60,000 thoughts a day. It's crazy. 60,000 thoughts a day women have. And of those 60,000 thoughts, most of them are not positive. They're not like, oh, you're beautiful. You're <laughs> Most of those are like, you're fat. You're overweight. You're this. You're that. You're, it's like this negative, negative, negative. So yeah. if we don't you're kill that fine. first, yeah, we don't get anywhere. So we focus. My, the reason Total Body Thrive works so well is because we kill that fat first and we kill it with everyone because we have to identify what are all these things that we've been telling ourselves and how do we get rid of it and reverse it so we can be vision focused. Okay. So I'm going to back. So I seriously just want to stop talking to you and just like be taking notes. (laughs) It's like amazing. So we go back to the vision board. How did you go from that yeah. moment to like, okay, I'm going to help other people with their... Yeah, that's great. Yeah. And it's so interesting because when I do help women now, or men too, actually, I, I take them through the same process. I have like literally a method that follows exactly what I went through. Um, so what I did, um, the way that my business evolved is similar to what I'm going to take people through a journey on is... When I started having results, and the results started initially as just, I just felt a little better. I just had a little more focus, a little more energy. And then the weight started coming off. There was just like these little wins every day, but I was so focused on forward that these little wins kept popping up. And I, and I would not let my brain go into the false assumed truths. I just wouldn't do it. Like I'd hear it and I, I couldn't listen to it. But what happened was as my body started to change <laughs> and my mood started to change, I decided, because it always starts with deciding, I was like, you know what? I think my stomach's getting flat. And I might actually see like a little definition there. I'm going to be a fitness model. This was like my random goal. And at this time, I'm in like towards my late thirties. So this is one of those things like you tell a friend and they laugh at you. They're like, uh, yeah, I don't think that boat sailed. <laughs> like, you're, no, <laughs> but I was like, no, I'm going to do it. It was just, I just decided I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to go for it. I'm going to be a fitness model. Why not? I didn't know anything about fitness modeling or how to be one or any of that. I remember telling one of my friends and she flat out laughed at me. She's like, I'm worried about you. You're embarrassing me. <laughs> um, but I, I decided this. So, oh, I, I skipped a really important part, Kat. Sorry. Okay. Before I decided that part, I had gone on Facebook when I really started changing my nutrition. And my Facebook at the time, I had like 100 high school friends. I didn't have my, my 2 million now. I had 100 high school friends. And I had posted there, hey, I'm in a rough spot. I am changing how I'm eating and I'm posting what I eat here every day for, for, um, accountability. I literally had made a post like that. So I was that original, like posting my food every day. So people on my private Facebook were following along this journey. So when I decided to be a fitness model, I also declared that there. So what happened was as my body's changing, I know people thought I was whack a noodle, but it's fine. (laughs) It's, It's all good. But as my body was changing, I started attracting a lot of people on my Facebook. They were like curious, like, how did you do this? How'd you eat? So somebody suggested to me, they're like, you should make, um, a recipe ebook. I didn't even know what that meant. I had to look up ebook and it was like electronic book. I'm like, okay. So I had a Blackberry phone. I didn't have an iPhone and I had taken all my gross food pictures on my Blackberry. I didn't know how to, we didn't have editing apps and all that. I had like green asparagus soup, just random, not attractive stuff. But I, um, I sat down one weekend and I made a PDF recipe book from my Blackberry and a word document. I remember like, and I, and I, so I, and I went and posted on Facebook. I have a, my ebook and it's $10 and I sold it. A few people bought it and it was pretty cool. And I didn't know what the heck I was doing. They would say, I want your book. And I would send them my PayPal and they would send me $10 and I'd be out and I'd have to email it to them when I got home. But it was like, oh, that's $40. I made it. It was cool. It was like, it was nice. 
But as my fitness stuff started becoming a thing and I actually got some fitness modeling jobs, which I was super proud of and it was super cool. The next question I was getting on Facebook was, how did you combine these foods and make it so your body would look like that? Mm -hmm. So I sat down another weekend and I wrote a book that's now a best selling book in stores, but at the time it was a PDF, my seven day jumpstart. And my whole business took off from that, not just because I said it and forget it, but because the method worked. What I taught, the same thing I unpack in Total Body Thrive works. And so what happened was people would buy it through my PayPal link and my email (laughs) because I didn't know what I was doing, but they would send me and it would be like, you cat, you'd say, Hey, Natalie, I did your seven day. It's amazing. I lost five pounds. I feel good already. And I would screenshot it and say, look what Kat just sent me. Go Kat. Who is next? And it took off like wildfire. And that's how my whole fat loss business was actually born. Oh my gosh. That's amazing. So how you got into this was by sharing your personal journey and then kind of by accident, which I've always said, yeah. the very best things in life happen by accident. Yes. Right? So you, people were asking you about nutrition and I know, I know you really dug deep on that. What are the mistakes people make on nutrition? Oh my gosh, there's so many mistakes, but I'm going to tell you, I'm going to break it down really simple. So number one, don't overcomplicate it because I know it's confusing. Like, do I do keto? Do I do weight? Like there's so many things. And what I want to tell you is I want you to go back to simple things that make sense. What is logical things like, how can you add in more of the good to make less room for the bad? you all know what's good, what's not so good. (laughs) So how do we add in more of the good? Can we unprocess our food? Can we look at eating natural, real foods, meaning something that once grew? Is it simple things that once grew? Is it basic? Um, What people do wrong is eat lots of fake foods. And when you eat lots of fake foods, you're, you're working against yourself. You're not working with your body. I like to use this example of if you walk by a, a body of water, and there's all this trash in it, and you throw another piece of trash in it, you don't even notice the trash you threw in it. But you walk by a pristine, perfect body of water, it's beautiful, and you throw one piece of trash and you really notice it. That's what goes on in our bodies. When we are eating a heavily processed junk food, not healthy, chemical-laden diet, we don't even know what's creating our foggy head, our energy drop, the overweight, the lack of confidence, all the, the breakouts, all of it, what's killing our sex drive. We don't know. When you eat a clean, natural, unprocessed diet, your body is smart. It starts working with you. Hmm. So we don't overcomplicate it. Okay. So I get it. And now I'm in a backup to, you know, I was 150 pounds heavier than I am now Mm. 20 years ago. So I'm healthier now in my 50s than I was in my 30s. And by the way, that's possible. Mm -hmm. Um, Absolutely, yes. But I remember wanting to do that every day. And I'm pretty mentally tough. Like I can like decide like sheer force of will and get stuff done. And I remember being in this cycle where it was just so tough to have willpower. So what, Mm -hmm. why is, and it took a really long time and it took some of these smaller changes for me to be like, okay, I can really do this. But why is willpower so stinking hard? Yeah, because willpower by nature is going to be hard. When you tell yourself you can't have something, you're going to Uh, want it. Okay, so that's what I was doing. Yes. We're focused on the wrong thing. Whatever you focus on, you're going to attract. I can't have the Kit Kat. I can't have the Kit Kat, but I want the Kit Kat. Can't have it. You're literally focusing on it. So there's something we do, and I take people through this in, in Total Body Thrive. It's like one of the very first things we do after we get clarity on vision is we have to get clear on what do we want and why, and we've got to lock that in. And I call that your driving core motivator. Well, we can get super clear, laser clear on your driving core motivator. What do you want and why? And we get to the root of the thing. When you get it and you feel the emotion, you feel it in your gut, you know, that surpasses willpower. That is the secret weapon. Now, the reason I will declare and say I am the top fat loss expert coach out there, I get results from people, I'll say it confidently, is because I do that with people. I don't just give you a diet plan. I don't just give you a workout plan. I can. I can whip you into shape that way. That's not what lasts. Willpower wins with that. That's why there's yo-yo dieting. That's why crap people crash and burn. That's why you try and fail all of that. So the reason my method works, you ask any of my success stories and I can show you countless pictures. <laughs> That's what we had to fix first. You're driving core motivator. And I just want to show you something. This is my friend, Allison. Um, this was when I met her, by the way. 
Okay. That's Allison. These are not lines. This was like, this was what she looked like. This is her now, by the way. She had been on every diet imaginable. She had had weight loss surgery in the, in the past. She had done all the things. It wasn't until we got to her actual driving core motivator and worked through the method, those steps, that everything changed for her. Everything changed for her. Well, I can understand that because I did try, like I did stick to stuff. I did, it, it, you know, workout, diet. So why does the diet industry keep Mm -hmm. giving us workouts and diets that don't work. Where does, where does that go wrong? Yeah. You know what? There's, there's, I, I honestly, I do think it's money. Some points, I think it's just, it becomes a marketing thing, like preying on people's weaknesses. And I, and I, and I feel funny saying that because I sell programs too. And I get it. Like I, I sell programs. Um, I think there's some of that. I think there's a lot of people that really don't know. There's a lot of people that are naturally fit or did, or they're, they haven't been through the hardships. They haven't gained the weight. They don't know. So they don't, they don't even know what they're sharing. They're thinking, just follow this plan. Like, it's easy for you. It's just easy. And it's not easy for most people. And I get that. So I think it's, I honestly think it's just out of not knowing because the bottom line is I can lock someone in a room and feed them the exact food and make them work out and they're going to lose weight. It just doesn't give you the tool to make that last because the second that plan is over, that diet is done, you gain it back and then you go into self beat up and it's worse. Okay. You, you did something wrong. So I, I just have this flash that it's like people who win the lottery end up worse off than they were before, even though they have the money. So yes. it's like, I lose the weight, but I end up back where I, where I feel in my That's body. what happened to Allison. She had weight loss surgery. She got thin and she gained it all back because, because of that. And so we're looking for external answers in your we're, we're thinking and you, and it really is it. Everything's a personal development problem, right? But I make it fun for people. Cause I don't, I know people don't always want to go down that road, but let me just tell you a story really quick. Okay. Uh, this is Nicole. Okay. Nicole's beautiful. This is when I met her and Nicole also had done every single diet and was beating herself up. And I saw when I meet people, when I meet Allison or any of my, my clients, when I met them, I don't see this. I see who I know they can become. But what happens is, especially if you've never been fit or thin or felt good about yourself, you don't have that vision for yourself. You don't, you can't even relate to it. So you're so focused on what do I have to eat and what do I have? That's where the focus goes. But I had to talk to her as I knew she would be, and I had to get her in her vision. So one of the very first things I did with Nicole was I got her to, what do you envision yourself? If you, if anything was possible, like what would you be? And she described herself as I would be, you know, really fit and I would be wearing this really hot red dress and I would, she like described what she would look like. And I, and I took her deeper than that and said, well, what would that do for your life? And she said, well, it would make me show up better at work. I would want to date. I would, she had all these other things. She would make more money because she would be more confident at work. So I got her really in her vision and her why, her driving core motivator around it. And we got to that she wanted to really be seen and not just be the pretty girl that was overweight. So we were really clear there. Once we really did the work and got through that, that's when we simplified the plan. And now the nutrition and the workout was so easy because she was already there. And I just want to show you, this was her now. Wow. She's her vision. She's exactly what her vision. And it was following that method. So, you know, what's interesting to me is the two women that you showed us, it triggered something for me. Then I did it when I was really overweight. We all wear black. We're hiding. Mm -hmm. We don't, we don't want to show it's always black every time. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's in hiding because it's so uncomfortable and I get it. Like it doesn't, it doesn't feel good to go live your life. So what happens is it creates a vicious cycle because I don't feel good. I'm going to wear black when I'm out. And now I don't, I come home and I don't want to put the tight jeans on. So I'm going to sit on the couch and watch TV. Now I've got sweats on and I don't feel good. So I'll eat whatever I want to eat. And it just creates this whole cycle. And you're, it's so a lot of times when I really pull someone's driving core motivator, and I do this in total body thrive is we really get to the root and the root is always some form of loneliness or they want to feel more connected. It's that confidence, but when we can get to that driving core motivator, everything changes. What is your program? And yeah, it's an eight week process that's simple and it's easy and it's fun. And I'm saying that because we're going to make it simple, easy, and fun (laughs) with you. With me. So it's in a like, here's your tape. Here's your no, it is not a PDF download and forget it. This is a full complete coaching program. And what it looks like is you become part of a community for eight weeks. 
And in that community, we give you everything you need. Like you have the meal plans, you have the like workouts. Workouts are optional, by the way. Believe it or not, you can do this without ever working out and still get results because we spend so much on the mindset piece and on the on the food and the nutrition and the health. So, but we have workouts too. Yeah, it's the workout that's right here. (laughs) That's the most most important, important, right? Yeah. So when you come into the community, there's one, there's a Facebook group that we're very active in. We've got amazing coaches in there that work with you. Every single question is answered. We have a an entire membership program that's not just like an overwhelming thing. You log on and it starts you at day one. And we take you very slowly through the process. It's all training like the way I'm talking with you, Kat. It's me talking to you on camera like this, a lot of it. And I take you through the process. Like, how do we decide? And then how do we figure out our vision? What do we want and why? How do we pull out the driving core motivator and those false assumed truths? How do we change those false assumed truths? And then when I dive into nutrition, we really dive into nutrition. And I don't mean like you're going to eat this, this, and this. I'm going to explain what happens when you have too many starches. What happens when you have artificial sweeteners? What happens when you don't hydrate enough? I teach you so that way you're not stuck with me. Like, I'd love you to work with me forever, but you're not stuck. You learn. So when you go out to eat, you go to a friend's house, you're, you're not stuck with like, what do I do? You understand and you make choices. Nothing's off limits. If you decide you want to have pizza, you know how to work it into to what I teach. Wow. And the best part is because it's a live program, we have a live Zoom just like this, but I'll see your face. You're like sitting in the room with me and we do that every week during Total Body Thrive. So all questions are answered and we go deep. Lots of breakthroughs. It's not uncommon that someone not only loses the weight during Thrive, but they end up wanting to start a new business or they find their love life. Something things happen because you are so confident and feel happy that next level happens. Because you kill fat. Yes. <laughs> I kill it. Well, they kill it. I teach them how to kill all it. All the false <laughs> truths. Yes. Right? I like teach you how to. Stuff that's holding us back, right? Yes. So I <clears throat> one thing a lot of people don't know about me is I started my career in the 90s working with authors and speakers. So I worked with all of the top, you know, back then. Do you remember? We didn't have an internet. Yes, I remember. You have to go to a seminar and see them on stage, right? So I started my career there and they all started creating coaching programs. And the reason was the people who would engage more and actually have accountability have the best results, right? Mm. So for what is that? I don't know, way too many years, 30, 25, 30 years ago. For 20 years, I'm, I'm very familiar with that business. And so when someone has access to you live mm-hmm. and answer questions, you're going with us for how many weeks? Eight weeks. And my team and I say failure is not an option. So group coaching, plus I get one-on-one support on your site. And by the way, we're dropping the link in the chat for those of you who yes. want to look at it. And I please don't say, please don't share anyone on here. This is a private link for you right now you'll because see we're the forward slash revealed. Yep. It's only for the revealed community. And right now, yes. She's pers- she has a limited number. She can't handle everybody. She has a limited number of coaches and a limited amount of her time. Um, but I, if I you hired me as a consultant, I would say charge between three and five thousand dollars for that. That's, uh, that's, I don't even, co- I know. And I get in trouble with my coaches all the time I don't because <laughs> I don't even charge close to that. So <laughs> I, know, I know I'm going to have to raise my, yeah. So no, let, my, let, let the revealed community know on this call what you're. Yeah. I'm, it's almost happening. embarrassing every time I say this because I know Kat, you're looking at me like, are you crazy? Yeah. <laughs> but the it's, people on the call are like, yes, I know it's 597. So mm-hmm. it's, yeah, it's 597. And that's I do that because I really want to help everybody with this. That's like 75 bucks. At, like a week for access to you, yeah. let alone everything else. Yes. They get everything. And it's, this is, like I said, it's not a PDF. I see all the Facebook ads for PDFs and downloads and it's nothing like that. This no, is a complete the workout plan, experience. The diet plan, the, all the crap that doesn't work. Yeah, no, this is a, and we, we guarantee this. This is like, in fact, we have something we call an action takers guarantee, which means I don't do like a, you get your money back no matter what. It's an action takers, meaning you show up, like you come on the Zooms, you do the program, you do the whole process, like you commit and go through, you show up in the Facebook group, you do it all. If you don't get results, I don't deserve to get paid. So I, that's my rule with this. So there's literally nothing to lose but the weight and the false assumed truth. Okay. There's- so what if I have like, okay, because so I know you run into this. So mm-hmm. let's start, let's start with the yabbits. What if I have like 
a condition or some injuries. Yeah. Even better. I would love to have you. First of all, if I gave you my list of conditions, like, first of all, I don't know, Kat, do you even know this about me? I had four major injuries last year, torn biceps. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I t- I'm telling you, I'm a walking, I feel like I'm being used by the, like, I'm a walking uh, billboard for breaking through things. Is it, things happen to me so I can get on the other side and teach them. I know it is. I know it. I know it. So first of all, I do have an autoimmune. Um, so I've navigated that and I attract a lot of women that have autoimmunes. Mm-hmm. I am 49 years old. Um, and so I happen to track, I can help any age, but I attract a lot of people in their forties and fifties. Yeah. Right. No, I'm 49. So I've been there. I know perimenopause and I'm very familiar with menopause. Most of my clients are are there or near it. Um, I've had injuries. I got all the conditions. I got all the things and my whole family. It's like the, all, I got the list of things, but you know what I call all that? (laughs) They're false assumed truths. Let me tell you why. Not because they're not real. It's not that I don't believe you have something you do. But the, what we put the meaning to that, the meaning we make up is a false assumed truth. I had a client uh, in my last round of uh, Total Body Thrive. She came in and on day one, she said, Natalie, my doctor, I had a hysterectomy. My doctor said I was going to gain 20 pounds. I gained 20 pounds. Is there any hope for me? And what was amazing is she lost 30 pounds on the program because my question back to her was, do you believe your doctor? Do you believe him? I'm not questioning that you had a hysterectomy. I'm not questioning that some people gain weight, but what is it that you're focused on? Because there's a lot of unpacking there. There's a lot of unpacking there. And if we believe what we are told because of something, then we're going to go in that direction. Why not believe in the 1%? Why not believe in the possibility and focus your actions there? So yes, I welcome you. If you have conditions, amazing. What I don't do is baby conditions though. I won't baby it. I'll hear you and I'll sympathize and I'll understand, but I'm going to help you get to the other side of it and break through it. And not let it be an excuse, right? Yes. So, because, because it validating excuses, we don't do any favors for people. Mm-hmm. If I say, you know what, you're right. That sucks. Yeah. You have a bad thyroid. You'll never lose weight. Yeah. It, that just might make you feel good for the moment, but how am I helping you? Yeah. So you're about like really doing, we're going to get in there. Yeah. Well, we're going to get you, in there and fix it. You talk about the pain cycle and that it's a trap. Tell me about that. Yeah. Um, if any of you relate in the audience to pain? Um, listen, I was, a, I had let, just to tell you how real this was. I first, I ruptured a disc and this was because I was on set for nine hours. It was dumb. I ruptured a disc <laughs> in my back. Then after that, um, after that was fully healed, I tore my bicep swimming. Yes. Swimming. I don't, it, the whole, that's a whole nother, that's a whole nother episode. <laughs> we'll talk about that. How that happened. It was a very woo woo thing. Wednesday at nine seven. Yeah. <laughs> but I tore my bicep right after my bicep healed. I broke my foot. So I had a full year of like, I could not work out pain, pain. If you've ever torn a bicep, the pain oh. level is off the hooks. They give you, um, something called Tordal. They give it to you in the military. Like to, it was like, I've never experienced pain like that. Mm-hmm. So my long story is short is I went through it so I could teach you. The pain cycle is very real. What happens when we have pain is obviously we have to let it heal. But what happens once we're okay to move is we don't want to move because it hurts. And we think I do this and my back hurts, or I do this and my arm hurts. Once you have the clearance to move, we got to work through that cycle. And the reason is if we don't, that pain cycle traps us. We don't want to get off the couch. We want to eat the junk then. And now we feel worse about ourselves, and we're creating more inflammation and we stay in a vicious cycle. So I help people break that because when you eat the way that I teach you and simplify and total body thrive, you learn to conquer that inflammation. You literally start to reverse things and feel better. You feel like moving your body and we're able to break through it and start to heal. It's that very movement and working through it that's going to heal us. Wow. So what, what are, okay. What are the main reasons that you've observed that people come into your program? Gosh, um, what are the main reasons? So the main reasons is they, they feel like they've tried everything and nothing's working. Um, that's usually, that's the, that's the commonality that starts people. But I think people, the reason people end up working with me is they feel I'm relatable. Um, I hear that over and over again, because I am not the 25 year old fitness model. I am the 49 year old that's lived life and been through things. So it's, it's, uh, I think they, it's they're relatable and they, and I'm no nonsense on my coaching. So I'll help. Yeah. I get in there. Um, somebody just asked in the comments, by the way, yeah. and if I was okay, can you give details for how long and 
your coaching sessions are, how out often Lisa it's, they're done as a group. So they're not individual. I want to be upfront about that. Um, they are done up. They're done as a group. Um, if you can't attend the live, we always record and send it to you. The coaching sessions, I would say they're about an hour, but honestly, sometimes we're like an hour and a half. I don't cut it off. I want to make sure everyone's heard and helped on the calls. And then you don't have to buy any foods for this. Like I teach you how to eat. It's not a pill and supplement situation. This is a very, this is very much a, um, I teach you how to eat and that can be done on any budget. So I hope that helps. Oh yeah. So, um, it's interesting to see the mind. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The mind. Oh, I'm too old. So there's a few, I'm too old. So what happens to us as we age? Yeah. Like, what yeah. Goes wrong is, and how so, us nutritionally as we get older. So a lot of time, well, let me start with a lot of times somebody will say to me, are you, you're 49. Like uh, you, you don't look 49. And I think what is 49 supposed to look like? Like why, <laughs> why do we have this image that it's supposed to look a certain way? Yeah. It can look however you want it to look. Um, yes. Do things change as we age? Of course they change as we age. We're not going to live forever. I get it. However, we can go down fighting <laughs> and we can go down in a healthy way that we enjoy our lives. We don't have to shrivel up when we don't have to be, we don't have to be the lipstick on the pig either. You know, we don't have to be, I was looking at a palm tree one day and I had this, um, epiphany that if you could all picture a palm tree, you know how the leaves, as they get old, they turn Brown and they kind of fall mm -hmm. down. Right. Mm -hmm. If you were to try to stick a wire in the brown and paint it green, it would look really funny. <laughs> it would look really funny. A lot of people try to do that. Uh -huh. They don't take care of the inside. They just try to slap everything on the outside. It doesn't work. If you can heal and work on the inside, you glow on the outside. It changes things. You can reverse inflammation. You can reverse. You can slow down the aging process. You can. You can change so you have more energy. You have more focus. You don't have to... Almost everything is changeable through nutrition. Do you know Alzheimer's and dementia is also considered type three diabetes by controlling our insulin and our blood sugars. We can avoid that. We can even reverse it out of type one of that. Yeah. Most autoimmune conditions. There's so much we can do. Yeah, so I it doesn't have someone tell me they reversed their mom out of Alzheimer's focusing really hardcore yes. on nutrition. They documented the whole thing. I totally wow. believe you. No, I, I believe, I understand there's some exceptions. Like obviously you're stage four, you're stage three. That's a lot more challenging. I'm not talking about that, but let's catch things early. Let's work on things when we're early on. My mom had was, uh, her A1C numbers were high. We were able to keep her off metformin for years by changing oh, her diet. Great. Yes. That's so great. Okay. So now the biggest answers are. The fat, my mind. My, fat yeah. is my mind. So here's what occurs to me there is if I have false assumed truths here, then I'm already having the conversation. I'm too bad. I'm too old. It's my thyroid. This program won't work. Right. And yeah. so it's the people that need that broken through that need you. Yes. It's also those that will keep them from joining you. So how, what would you say to someone who's like, yeah, well, that's I a great question. Uh, that's a great question. So your best thoughts got you to right here. Everything you have thought got you to right here right now today. So thinking your way out of this doesn't work. You need a massive interruption. <laughs> you need a massive interruption. And I'm, I'm willing to offer to be the massive interruption. Now, maybe you don't resonate with me. Maybe I turn you off and that's, I, I get that, <laughs> that then I'm not your person. You know what? I if, don't care. I don't yeah. care if you can help me. Right. <laughs> But if this is getting through to you at all, if you hear me at all, I have the method for you. I can help you with this, but you need an interruption and we've got to change those thoughts and actions, thoughts, actions, and habits. When you change those, we become a new person, but everything you have thought to right now, got you to right now, right here today. And there's something on the other side of it and you can break through this, but we've got to work through this. Now, I, I usually hate when uh, we say things like we've never on a sales page, put mindset, because I feel like it sounds like everyone no, says yeah. mindset. But I want you to know it's not just about like what's wrong with me. No, I you you need the tools, and I want to help you with the tools where I actually can take you through a method, the same method that I took those pictures through, the same method I took Terry through. Look at Terry; wow. she went through the same method. I have countless stories like this. This is Karen. Same thing. I have. I mean, I could go on. This was a doctor right here, one of my clients that went through this. Wow, countless stories over and over again of this now happening. They don't, what you know, they don't teach in medical school. Another one. Yeah. So, but we have to get you believing in these directions first. You know, a lot of times somebody will say, well, what about my hormones? What about my this? What about my that? All of that is relative, but let's clean up all this first. 
And you'll be surprised at how far we come by doing this. Let's do this first. And then we can add in some of the other things. Yeah, I think that's so important. So tell me when people first come on your program, like what's kind of the consensus of week one? Gosh. Okay. So the first two weeks we introduced nutrition. We never, we're always going to have that stuff available for you, but what we're really going to do is uncover all this, this in the, in the mindset piece, the vision, we're going to get you in your vision. We're going to get you dreaming. We're going to get you into what you want, but we're also going to give you a win right away. So you get a, you get help on your nutrition right away. So most people lose between five and seven pounds the first week. And let me tell you why, because yeah, let me tell you why, because fat loss Yes, that's more like two pounds of fat loss per week over time. But we're also holding on to a lot of bloat, excess water, junk. So we clean that up. So I want everyone to have a win initially, which we do. So typically you'll lose five more the first week. And then on average, we're about two pounds of fat loss per per week, which is sustainable. If you have a lot more to lose, you'll lose more. Um, However, this is what's safe and effective. And so it stays off. So what I'm hearing, what I heard you say that I never hear anybody else say, because they all say weight loss. You're saying fat loss. Fat loss, yes. Which is different. Yes, because yeah. weight loss can be muscle, it could be water, it could be a lot of things. I'm going to help you lose the water too, because I don't want you bloated and walking around feeling that way. But we, we focus on fat loss. I want to get you so you're yeah. retaining muscle and losing fat. So I'm picturing this, like I'm in, it's the first couple of weeks, and I'm seeing the people that are coming through the program with me and they're having all these wins, that's going to give me that little extra boost when I get stuck, right? Yes. And we help help you. I lose five to seven pounds. We're all like, oh my gosh. And now I'm in and I'm kind of like starting to lose my limitations. Then what? So we, well, we're, we, we keep you going on this because I get, usually there's a high the first few weeks. I get it. Like everyone's excited. And then when you start to go self-doubt kicks in, which it always does, we're there to help you. And that's why we pick eight weeks because in the eight week time period, we take you through that whole cycle because I want you to have the skill set. So when the eight weeks is up, you don't necessarily need me. You're good. Like, you know, I've got this. I can go back to this. This is what I need to be. But I want to walk you through past the seven days, past the four weeks, so you can have the setback or the, the see that pop up again so I can keep you going and have massive results. But the truth of the matter is, Kat, most people that do my programs come back as an alumni, not because they didn't lose weight, because they wanted to go on to another goal. Oh, so... Okay. So what you've done is you've taken weight loss and just made it a component of my life of what I want to accomplish. And the way I accomplish everything else is how I accomplish weight loss. And we've been segmenting it as this hard thing. Yes, exactly. Just like when I showed you that initial, uh, my friend, Allison, that picture of her, I don't even know where I put it now. What was so interesting about Allison is she was um, super successful in business. Like she didn't, she's like super successful in every area of her life. And that was the one area that she was completely failing in. And the epiphany for her was when she came full circle that, whoa, the same method I actually had been using in my life. I just wasn't using on my body. We do. We separate, like I'm sitting here realizing it. We put it over in this corner of like, that's hard. I don't want to deal with it. Yeah. This was her. Sorry. I found her now. Oh yeah. See, you know, one of the things that really hit me when we first talked is you said there's these false assumed truths. And then you didn't know this, but you listed off all of the ones that had been mine, which are genetics, thyroid, hormones, right? And you're like, and, and you know, I have them, but we got to get rid of those. And so why is it that we hang on to that? Yeah, because it feels good. Um, to validate that it's a, it's a reason. So, it, and this is, this is a little bit of a pill that's hard to, sw- to swallow when I get it. So when you have something wrong and someone says, empathizes with you and tells you you're right, it, it lets you feel validated for the moment. The problem with that is it doesn't help us in the future. It just doesn't help us get anywhere. Um, I'll share that when I, tore my bicep, for instance. I mean, this is just a very different thing. And my doctor said I would not be doing chin-ups or pull-ups or anything again. And I didn't even want to hear it. He started giving me numbers and percentages. And I just said, I, I just didn't want to even hear it. And I am doing them again because I stopped focusing on that. But if I had gone on my audience and said, hey, everyone, um, I know I've been sharing fat loss and fitness for years, but I had a lot of injuries this year and I'm just, I'm just done. I can't do it. My body's getting older. I can't do it anymore. Um, I'm moving on. 
I'll tell you, every single person would have been like, oh, I'm so sorry. We liked you. You know, I get it. Best wishes. No one would have challenged me. And that's sad to me. I think people would have just validated and understood. And I would have been content. Have said, just, Wait a minute. That's not what you told me. I don't know that they would have. I hope that they would have. Right. But I think people that they sympathize. So when you ask why do people do it, it kind of feels good at the time. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't do that with my clients, with my people. I, I want to take a stand and help them see a different possibility because what do you have to lose? What do you have to lose with that? What yeah. do you have to lose? All your fat. Yeah. <laughs> All your false assumed truths, yes. right? The, the questions you ask are so genius because it reframes your brain and it takes all of the obstacles out of the way. And this whole, um, there's a, there's a book that's really popular right now called Atomic Habits. Mm-hmm. I've read it. And I bet you were like, yep, yep, yep. Because you did it without knowing you were doing it, right? It's yes. just all these small things. And over time, things change, right? It's so funny to me because the the same method I walk through in Total Body Thrive is literally like the same method. If I unwind anyone successful at anything that they've done, I think there's something unique about how I've maybe shaped it for people or how I teach it. I don't know. <laughs> I haven't figured that out yet. But this information, it's successful people are doing it. It's I'm not, I, I don't want to say it's the secret too because it's not a secret. I'm sharing it in Total Body Thrive. But the formula works. So like technically you could go through total body thrive and not even want to lose weight and pick a different goal and probably make it happen with the same process. Yeah, exactly. It's what I believe. I hope you had some good takeaways from that episode. If you're intrigued and you want to be part of total body thrive live, it's only open as a live program twice a year. And now's your chance. So all you have to do is go to totalbodythrive.com. It'll also be in the show notes click there for all the details and to save your spot. Once again, go to totalbodythrive.com to save your spot. Thank you for taking the time out of your day to listen in as my guest today. If you found this episode valuable, please share it with friends and on social media. I don't advertise this show, so I rely on word of mouth and reviews to get it out in the world. The biggest thank you that you can give me is leaving me a review and a nice one, I hope, by the way. This is how others find these episodes. If you do leave me a review, be sure to message me at support at nataliejillfitness.com with a screenshot of your review because I would love to send you a free digital download of my DSR journal as a thank you. And please don't forget to connect with me on social media at nataliejillfit on Instagram and Facebook. Facebook.